when I was studying in college, the Ethiopian famine happened uh, in 1984, actually. And a million people died in the north of Ethiopia. And at that time, I already knew I wanted to be an economist, but I didn't know exactly what kind of economist or what I was going to do. And I, and I was really grieving as a student in the United States, you know, hearing about this famine, seeing people asking for donations and Bono and, you know, Bob Geldof singing, do they know it's Christmas to my country? That's one of the oldest Christian countries in the world. And all of this was just heartbreaking for me. And a few years later, I found a research paper that said that while the famine was happening in 1984, there was actually a surplus of grain in the western part of Ethiopia. So in the north, a million people died in the camps, you know, the food relief camps, and there was grain in the western part of the country, a surplus of grain. So I thought, here is what I'm going to do. That was my aha moment. I am going to figure out how we can help create a, a system for places where there are surplus, you know, where there's surplus grain, how it can move and find a market where it's really needed. That's essentially what is a commodity exchange. And so the Ethiopia Commodity Exchange, ECX, uh, is an institution, uh, a company that I created um, in 2008 was when it was launched. So, you know, quite a long time after that famine. Um, But it was always the dream that I had is how to create a way that that the farmers who've produced the product can sell it anywhere in the country to anybody and get paid on time, um, the, get paid for the quality that they've produced, get the weight you know, uh, properly weight measured because they don't have scales. They don't even know whether you know, their bag really weighs 100 kilograms or not. So they get cheated all the time. So farmers are always cheated by the, by the traders in the system. And on the other side, buyers also complain because they don't get the quality, you know, so they buy a sack of, of corn or, or maize or wheat and they open it up and there's impurities, there's dust, there's pebbles, grain, gravel, whatever. And so, um, so they're, they're paying for goods that are not, you know, really what they, what they want either. So they also have a problem. So on both sides, there's a problem. Um, and in between, there's traders that are changing hands all the time and adding to the costs. So what a commodity exchange does is bring buyers and sellers into a market where the standards are known, where the, the commodity or the the product, the the you know the the grain or the, the coffee or the sesame, whatever it is we're trading, it can also be metals. A commodity essentially is anything that can be measured, stored somewhere, and that we know we can you know get a quality grade. So we can say this is grade one gold or grade one corn, or grade, you know, one, two, three coffee. So whatever it is, once we can put a grade to it, and once we can weigh it, and once we can put it in a warehouse or somewhere safe, just like in the bank you put money, if you could put it in a warehouse, issue a warehouse receipt, then that commodity is tradable. And once you have a system where you connect the buyers and the sellers, and a way to make sure that the buyer gets the commodity that they have contracted for and the seller gets the payment and you do that on time and efficiently, then you're solving everybody's problems. So that's what a commodity exchange is.